Now, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission has today recovered grabbed public land valued at 430 million shillings. In documents presented in court, the recovered parcel had been set aside for the construction of an interchange in Nairobi area. And as Laura Otena reports, the land was fraudulently leased out by two individuals, one of whom is deceased and the other, former Lands Commissioner and former MP Sami Mwaita, who both served at a senior level in the defunct Ministry of Lands. The decision finally came at the Environment and Land Court in Milimani. Justice Lois Komingoi delivering a judgment that ended a case that had been going on for close to two decades. The 0.89 hectare piece had been set aside for the construction of a bypass for Mombasa Road and the Eastern Bypass at Cabanas before Sami Mwaita, who served as a Commissioner of Lands, and the late S. Wangila, who was employed as the Registrar of Titles, listed out for a 99-year period to work limited effective June 1, 1998. In documents presented in court, the anti-graft body uncovered that Work Limited was not a registered entity by that time, prompting the two land officials to transfer the parcel to Redwood Properties Limited in March 2001. The court has, however, restrained Redwood Properties from transferring or alienating the land, revoking any title held by the company on the parcel. The land will be handed over to the approved user, with the accused expected to bear the cost and interest of the suit. Laura Otieno, Citizen TV.